Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Centipede Geek. Today I'm going to talk about the FX original television series by the name of The Americans. I'm going to discuss my thoughts and opinions upon episode 13 titled The Colonel. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? So pretty much what we have going on in episode 13 of The Americans is the season finale. And as all with season finales, all 12 episodes before this have been leading up to this one huge moment and the series did the season finale of the Americans deliver, let's talk about whether or not that happened. So pretty much what we have going on in the Americans, you know, we have, of course, as always, we have Philip and Elizabeth, you know, our main two Russian KGB officer spies, and in this episode, one of them has to meet up with somebody else. Else, Well, the problem with meeting up with a certain someone is, is that for a little while now, the FBI agents, you know, Stan and all the rest of his FBI uh, friends, they have been planning a setup for the Russian spies. Well, of course, Philip and Elizabeth don't really know this. They have their theories that the meeting is actually a setup, though they don't actually know. So Philip keeps trying to tell Elizabeth that he should be the one to go to the meeting because, of course, he doesn't want Elizabeth getting hurt. And, of course, what does Elizabeth tell Philip? Philip, she tells him the same thing. Elizabeth th thinks that she should go to the meeting. That way, Philip won't get hurt. So throughout this entire episode, they're trying to say, you know, who should take the kids? Who should go up to Canada to get the kids out of the situation? Because, of course, the kids, you know, don't yet know. And I say yet because, you know, it seems like they almost find out in this episode. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to give major spoilers away in this review. So if you don't like spoilers, go ahead and hit the pause button. Otherwise, keep watching because who doesn't like spoilers, right? Uh, I personally don't. But anyways, uh, sorry for the getting a little off track. Anyway, so like I said, uh, you know, Elizabeth is trying to convince him that she needs to go to the meeting, that he needs to be the one to take the kids, get a hotel, and then go up to Canada if everything goes uh, worse, while Philip is trying to tell Elizabeth the exact opposite. While all this is going on, our red-haired girl, I forget her name, she, uh, you know, the one that gives the missions to Philip and Elizabeth, she is actually being reassigned to a different location and to a different mission back in Moscow, uh, Russia, and for the reason of this is that Philip and Elizabeth, as you know, if you've been watching a previous episode of The Americans on FX, if you know this, uh, they haven't been really getting along at all. So Philip and Elizabeth recommended that she be reassigned. Well, of course, Moscow, Russia, you know what they do. Russia reassigns her to a different place, a place we don't know yet, but she is going to finish her mission before actually the uh, reassignment. Also, we have uh, Nina, and I think that's her name, you know, the mole girl, the one that's, that, that's been having a sexual relationship with our Stan, uh, FBI agent, she is told by the, uh, by the main, I forget the guy's name, but the main Russian, you know, the colonel, she has been told by the Russian, the main Russian guy to now, you need to, t he, she, he, she, he pretty much tells her, you need to tell us everything that the FBI agent is telling you. Well, by the end of the episode, they finally find out that it is a setup Everything is going to hold me wrong, and they need to get Philip and Elizabeth out of the situation. So Nina is told that she actually needs to turn uh, Stan. And by turn Stan, that means that the Russians want to turn Stan, the FBI agent, into a Russian spy. Kind of like the case with Gregory, you know, a uh, long, you know, long time ago, uh, Elizabeth, you know, turned Gregory. Gregory's dead now, but... Uh, you know, she turned Gregory into a Russian spy, so now Gregory was a traitor, you know, conspiracy, fraud pretty much, uh, working for the KGB spies, and now Nina needs Stan to do that same thing. So uh, that, that whole story arc does not get solved in this episode. We don't know if she ends up convincing him. It seems like she's getting ready to, but we don't yet find that out. Anyways, that's the main plot and the main basics, basics and the just of episode 13 titled The Colonel for the FX original television series by the name of The Americans. My thoughts and opinions on this episode? My god, this was an amazing episode. I loved every minute of it. I will say, if you don't like cliffhangers, this episode, I will say, I'll be a little honest, it ends on a huge cliffhanger. Like, literally mid-mission, it ends on a cliffhanger. I didn't have a problem with that, because I like, like cliffhangers. I understand what they're doing. They're trying to hook you in for the next season, you know, because if they wrapped everything up, you know, in one season, you know, because it's already been, if you don't know, it's been confirmed for a second season consisting of 13 episodes, though we won't see a second season until, like, January of 2014 next year, so it'll be a while to see, until we see any more of the Americans. But anyways, back to my opinions. 
So just everything about this episode was great. We had some great dialogue that was delivered by every actor and pristine intelligence. And what I mean by that is that, you know, Matthew Reeves, you know, you know, the guy from Brothers and Sisters, I've been watching that recently. Great stuff, by the way. Sorry that I got a little sidetracked. Uh, but Matthew Reeves, you know, plays a great, you know, Russian spy. I really like the dialogue sequences with him. I really like the interaction between him and, you know, Carrie Russell, you know, playing Elizabeth, you know, his wife in this episode. I really like their interaction because, especially towards the end, just so you guys know, uh, she does get shot. And at first you don't know because there's a you know, remember, remember a few minutes earlier, I was telling you about, you know, they finally found out they got set up. Well, what ended up happening was uh, they thought that they were actually going to set the meeting up. But what was actually being set up was the car that they always go to to get, you know, their information from. Well, Elizabeth was on her way to the car, and Philip was on his way to the meeting. Like I said, they thought they were going to set the meeting up. Well, little did they know that when Philip got there, uh, you know, the red-haired girl, you know, showed up and said, you know, hey, it's a setup. And all of a sudden, you know, Philip's like, there's no one here. How can it be a setup? And then you have that light bulb in your head going, oh, crap. They're setting Elizabeth up. So he has to get in the car, drive over there real quick. And this is when, like, everything in this episode just got amazing. Philip and Elizabeth, you know, he, you know, drove towards her. Elizabeth jumped in the car. And let's just say they were this close to getting caught. Stan, you know, jumped out in front, started shooting the windows. This is when Elizabeth is shot, you know, Carrie Russell. Uh, Philip doesn't know this yet until they're already, you know, out of their, you know, they, they drive in the, they drive in like a parking lot, they get out of their clothes, hot wire another car, and drive up out of there, they escape, this is when we find Elizabeth gets shot, and they take her to, you know, to the warehouse they always go to, to kind of, you know, degrade a little bit, you know, to kind of, you know, you know, calm down from the situation a little bit, and they start to realize, you know, that it seems that Carrie Russell's character might be dying, I really hope not, uh, because, you know, Elizabeth is a great character. I don't think she will, but, you know, she's shot, and, you know, she's going to have to stay there for a while. Uh, the wet hair girl tells uh, Matthew Rice that he should go home to his kids. Uh, Philip says, you know, Matthew Rice, he says, no, I'm not going to go home to my kids. I'm going to stay here with Carrie, uh, Russell, you know, Elizabeth. Uh, so that's literally, the episode ends a few minutes after that. Like, that's, that is literally the ending of the episode. Like, you, that you, the, like I said, the, the episode ends during the middle of the mission like the mission's over the mission was a complete failure pretty much uh that's it you know the fbi agents thought they were going to catch the two spies they know it's a couple now they ran you know stan planned on having nina you know relocated west but she's not going to be relocated at all because the mission was a complete failure like i said earlier so it seems that nina now i can't know this for sure but it seems i assume that she might end up actually uh trying to turn him i don't know if stan will accept but it seems that he might right uh anyways back to my thoughts and opinions on the show tonight like i said a great episode i couldn't ask for any better the dialogue like i said earlier but you know between everyone i love the scene uh, with Carrie as, you know, she speaks, because, you know, she's actually Russian in the series, uh, you know, Carrie Russell is not an actual Russian person, but, you know, they're Russian characters in the show, and I love, she says two simple words at the end of the, ep at the around the end of the episode, she says, come home, and Matthew Rice, he doesn't say anything back, he realizes what he has to do, and you can already see where the series is going to go, of course, he's going to come back home, take care of the kids, do what they need to do. I have no idea what they're going to do. Are they going to run off to Canada? Are they going to stay there? Is Stan going to be turned into a spy? It'd be really interesting if Stan got turned into a spy. That would take the series on a whole new twist. Uh, it also seems like his wife wants to get a divorce. It seems like the series is kind of foreshadowing, maybe hinting at that, that Stan's wife might want to get a divorce because he tried to say, you know, hey, let's go to, I think it was Jamaica, I think it was. He tried to apologize. She didn't want his apology. She wanted to be away from him. She doesn't want to be with him anymore. It seems as if she wants to divorce, though she didn't say anything like that, so I could be uh, hinting at something wrong, though it seems a little like that. Uh, but anyways, I really enjoyed this episode. Nothing wrong with it. I loved the car sequence at the end, just a really nice, intense sequence. My, I was so anxious during that scene wasn't, that it wasn't funny. I was really wondering what was going to happen next. I mean, my heart was in beating. You know, I was feeling a lot of anxiety during that scene just because of all the crazy stuff was going on. I thought that Stan was going to find them. I thought they were have to, gonna have to get out of the car and have a big shoot off or a fight or something. But they drove off, you know, drove through the roadblock of cars that the cops, you know, the FBI agents had set up and, you know, my God, it was just such a great episode that I, you know, I can't even explain, you know, my enthusiasm over it because it was so great. Anyways, uh, 
that's pretty much my thoughts and opinions upon episode 13, titled The Colonel, for the FX original television series by the name of The Americans. Like I said, only 13 episodes. Tonight was the season finale, so that wraps things up, you know, sort of. You know, we like I said, it ends literally in the middle of the mission, so we have no idea what's going to happen. Is Elizabeth going to die? Is Matthew Rice going to come home? Is Stan going to turn into a Russian spy with them? What's going to happen to Nina? I mean, we don't know what's left a lot of things unsaid. But that's the whole point. They're going to answer these questions in season two, right? Hook you in for more? Uh, they've certainly hooked me in for more, so I'm hooked. Are you guys hooked? Let me go on the comment board below what you guys thought of the season finale. And what do you think of the Americans as a whole? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know below. Anyways, uh, like I said, we won't see any more of the Americans for a long time. Uh, we actually won't see season two till January of next year. Sad, yes, but, you know, I can't wait till the DVD release. Anyways, once again, thanks again for watching another video by season by, by Centipede Geek for the season finale of The Americans, episode 13, titled The Colonel. Once again, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to my page below, and I'll be seeing you guys later with more videos by Centipede Geek.